coming up and it can really be a feat to stay healthy and control our eating in the middle of all of it. Well, Charles D'Angelo may be just what you need. Gary Counts reached out to Charles when he was 361 pounds. And with Charles coaching, he is down 155 pounds. Gary, congratulations. You really, you look wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> so what inspired you to reach out to Charles? Well, I, obesity has never been part of my self-image. I used to be very fit when I was younger and, um, and I remembered what it felt like and remembered the confidence I used to feel. Um, I was having back and knee pain um, and, and was running into situations that were just embarrassing. Like I couldn't fit in an airplane seat. I had to get an extender for the seat belt because I was so large. Um, and I failed to get it under control myself. So I researched my options. I liked his approach. I liked the credibility he has because he lost the weight himself and reached out to Charles. And what has the program been like? Is it easy? Um, Charles makes it very simple and approachable for anyone. Um, it kind of focuses around resetting your mindset about how you think about yourself and, and your relationship with food. So I don't know if easy is the word I would use, but I would say simple and approachable for sure. And Charles, what is it about your program that it kind of sets it apart and creates these amazing results like we see with Jerry? Well, I think anything that we make complex, we really make it difficult for us to follow through. So I've worked very hard to simplify what's necessary to create the type of change that I've experienced having lost 160 pounds when I was a teenager or someone like Jerry, one of my clients has experienced. Change in itself is simple. It's, it's not complicated. It doesn't mean it's easy, to Jerry's point. You're still going to have temptation. You're still going to face adversity. Uh, just now, with the new restrictions being imposed in the county here in St. Louis City and St. Louis County, uh, many people feel like they're losing control again. And the work with me is all about regaining a sense of personal power, where you recognize you're not a victim of circumstance. You get to decide how your life's going to look, what you're going to do, where you're going to go with your life, based upon the choices that you make. What I help people to do is close the gap between where they are, accepting where they are. It doesn't mean submitting to where they are, but it means really being honest with the fact of where they are physically, where they are from a mindset perspective, and then where they wanna go and developing compelling reasons to get to that really exciting, uh, inviting place in life. When we have a strong, compelling vision of our future, whatever comes up really isn't much of a challenge. But when we get mired in all the noise of day-to-day -day life, when we spend so much time scrolling through social media and everything else, we kind of lose sight of the direction of where we want to be in life. So it's creating space in the coaching relationship to really get an idea of what do you want your life to look like? Starting to create that future, design your destiny, rather than just end up wherever life takes you, actually start to create a strategy to get from where you are to where you want to be. So weight loss is a dividend of that. When Jerry and I were meeting, we weren't talking about let's lose 10 pounds every week. It's not about that. It's about disconnecting from using food emotionally. So when you're sad, when you're angry, when you're afraid, you're not finding yourself standing in the pantry, having just had dinner, looking for something else. It's learning how to sit with yourself, how to sit with what you're feeling, rather than constantly look for something to, to stimulate, distract, soothe, consult. So that's what the work's all about in the coaching relationship. Oh, that's powerful. Well, so Jerry, what do you recommend to people at home who are struggling with their weight like you were? Well, I think you have to understand what the real problem is that you're trying to solve. You know, to Charles's point, it's not necessarily food. I think you got to do your research. You need to admit when you need help. Consider approaches that are safe and effective. And I, I think if you do your research, you're going to come to the same conclusion I did and give Charles a call. Well, Jerry, thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. We really appreciate it. Charles has helped thousands of people turn their lives around, and he can help you too. Visit his website, charlesdangelo.com, to learn more.